Hey, Stu. Hey, um, I need your advice. My sister wants me to talk to my nephew about sex. Why you? Because he's got no father, because I've known the kid his whole life. Well, good luck. Those conversations are always awkward. Especially since I don't know what to tell him. Why not? You get lucky sometimes. Yeah, but just because I've had sex doesn't mean I know how to talk about it. And besides, I never had gay sex. Wait, this kid is gay? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know because he's never talked about it, but, but ever since he was like five years old, I've just had this feeling that he would grow up to be gay. Well, get Manny to talk to him, or I don't know, Victor. No, no, my sister says it has to be a relative. Well, then, like, what about your grandfather? She said he's too pervy. <sighs> wow. I've met your grandfather and think she might be right. So what are you going to tell him? Well, I, I, I bought this book and uh, downloaded it to my phone. I'll put a link in the chat. Um, I thought I'd read it to Casey and answer his questions. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> I've heard about this book. No, you don't want to read on this one. Why, why not? It's got pictures, pretty pictures, and penguins. Everybody loves penguins. Yeah, but this book doesn't tell the whole story. Like, I read about these penguins, like the real ones. Wait, you, you mean this is based on a true story? Oh, yeah. Like, you can't make this stuff up. So what happened? Well, the book tells how these two male penguins fell in love and did all the mating rituals with each other. But since neither of them could lay an egg, they tried to hatch an egg-shaped rock. Wow. I, I had no idea penguins were so stupid. They're as dumb as the rock they tried to hatch. Well, what happened then? Well, the people at the zoo where they lived, they just gave them an egg to hatch. Wait, where, where'd they get it from? From another penguin couple who gave it up for adoption. Hmm. So then they hatched it and a baby penguin came out and they raised it. That's a good story. And, but the book doesn't tell what happened after that. See, the next year, they lost their nest. How? Uh, uh, gentrification. Yeah. And when they lost their nest, they drifted apart. So then one of them hooked up with a female penguin, and then they tried to make an egg of their own. And when that egg hatched, they had a daughter. And when she grew up, guess what? What? She hooked up with a female penguin. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. A homosexual penguin, mm -hmm. a bisexual penguin, okay, and a lesbian penguin, all in the same family. <laughs> well, it happens. Wow. Wait, 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 why, why isn't that in the book? Well, because society thinks that everything is either black or white, gay or straight, male or female. They don't want people to know the truth. What truth? That everything is on a spectrum. Everything is on a spectrum. Yeah. Spectrum. S P E C. See, gender is on a spectrum. Sexuality is on a spectrum. Race, politics, pain. Continuum of color. A rainbow. Yeah, 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 like a rainbow. Mead, Mead, you you have to talk to Casey with me about this. Wait, I, I've never had gay sex either. I know, but I need the help. 
you're on your own this time, pal. I, I don't know how to talk to kids about sex. You don't have to. I'll talk to them about the sex, but you, you've got to tell them about the spectrum. Why can't you just tell them? Because I won't remember. Please, you've got to help me. Promise you'll help me. If I do this, you will owe me. I will owe you big time. Okay, I promise. Thank you. So how old is this kid anyway? Uh, 23. <laughs> what? I said he's 23. Stu, I heard you. But if he's 23, he's already had sex. You don't know that. He could be a late bloomer. Well, well he is related to you. Oh. And what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I get it. So when do we talk to this kid anyway? Uh, he should be joining our Zoom call any minute. Oh, so you tricked me into helping you. Yep. I'm not as dumb as I look. Or at least I'm not as dumb as a penguin. Hi, Casey. Hi, Uncle Stu. Um, this is my friend, Mead. Hi. Hey. Um, thanks for joining us. What's up? Uh, uh, I, uh, we, we need to talk to you. About what? Important stuff. Um, uh, stuff about, uh. Yeah. About how a penguin falls in love with another penguin and how they do mating rituals. Yes, and see, you can do mating rituals with anyone you want, as long as they consent. Right, right. And, and sometimes two penguins can make an egg, but sometimes they can't make an egg. But that's okay, because you can always adopt an egg. Just make sure it's not a rock. And... You gotta hatch it together. But you won't know if it's a lesbian until it grows up. Well, sometimes you know. Uh, and when it hatches, you have to love it. Even if it's as dumb as a rock. And if you lose your nest, don't drift apart. Yeah, yeah, don't let gentle, um, gender, uh, gentr gentrification, gentrification. Don't let gentrification make you bisexual, not if you don't want to be. Because sexuality is on a spectrum. A continuum of color. So you can be what you already are. You can be any kind of penguin you want to be, even though society doesn't want to know the truth. Love is like a rainbow. And pain is like a rainbow. And we're all on a spectrum. A spectrum of love? and pain, and sex. Is this about me being gay? No, I'm teaching you about sex. You teach me about sex? <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not that funny. He has had sex, you know. <laughs> I've seen the women he's dated, each and every one a skank. They've had good personalities. <laughs> and how come I've never seen you with the same woman more than once? Uh, I specialize in one night stands. Specialize? You mean no one wants to sleep with you a second time? Don't have to say it like that. Listen, in Stu's defense, he's got to wear one of those sleep apnea machines at night. So he looks like Bane and he sounds like Darth Vader. Even girls who are into sci-fi don't want to wake up next to Darth Vader. <laughs> what made you guys think you could teach me anything about sex? Hey, listen, it wasn't our idea. What? Oh, no. My mom put you up to this? She's worried about you. 
And she knows you're old enough to be sexually active, and she wants to make sure you use protection. I do. You can tell her not to worry. (laughs) I told you he's already had sex. I've probably had more sex than the two of you combined. Hey, you don't have to rub it in. Jeez, this kid's harsh. I'm not harsh. I'm fierce. Being fierce doesn't give you the right to be rude. (sighs) I'm sorry. Uncle Stu, Mead, I appreciate your attempt at sex education. Thank you. Apology accepted. So, um, uh, Casey, do you, do you have any tips for us on how to be more popular with women? (laughs) Well, you could both use a makeover. Yes, 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 yes. Will you give us makeovers? Hmm. Well, it won't be easy, but... Okay, yeah. I love a good challenge. Thank you. Can you make us look sexy? I can get you somewhere on the spectrum of sexiness. That's all we ask. You hear that, Mead? We're gonna be on the spectrum. Are you gonna make us wear Spanx? Oh, yeah, Spanx. Spanx.